and there we are back lovely so hello everyone welcome to this lesson this one's all about time how to tell the time how to read the time in english sana was the winner of last month's leaderboard she got the most points so this was her request so we can just it's relaxed don't have to be too serious there's no pressure if you have any questions if you want me to explain something, then just let me know and I can do that. It's it's really, well, quite casual and hopefully you can learn something from it. We have Ruth and Sana in this. Maybe other people will join, but if they if not, this is recorded so people can watch later anyway. So let's jump straight in. If you like, it's up to you. I do recommend having a kind of book, some paper, a pen or pencil, just to make notes. But actually, if you don't want to do that, it, if you prefer to just listen, I will put this in a PDF in the school community anyway. All this information, you can download it there. It will have all the notes that you would need. But if you prefer to write, you're very welcome to. If that helps you remember, helps you practice later, then it's always useful. I see Ruth's got a pen and and book there and Sana too, if you if you would like. So we can jump in then. This one's all about time. Okay. Do you how do you feel about time, Ruth? Sana, do you can do you feel like you can understand the time in English or is it a something that's a little bit difficult sometimes? Maybe Ruth, what do you think? Um you see, I think it's not too difficult. Mm. Um, but I think it, it's a little bit different to German grammar uh, at the time. So the, um, it, it's easier to make a mistake like that. Yeah. Uh, it's, to say think, like this. Yeah. 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 It, it, it can be tricky in any language, and sometimes even advanced speakers. So, Sana, she speaks English very well, just like you, Ruth. You're both on quite a high level, but even sometimes the basic stuff, like telling the time, it's good just to review and go over it, just to like reconnect it all. Because even when you're an advanced speaker, it can be easy to forget this stuff. And hello, Blurter, welcome. Oh, microphone's off, Blurter. Welcome. If you would like to join in, you're very welcome. We've had Blurter in a debate club before. I think maybe debate club number one, maybe number two. She was involved in that. I hope everything is well, Blurter. So to, this lesson's all about time. So we're going to just jump in here. Sana, can you tell me what do you see here? 7.30. Yeah, you see, you see this say seven thirty, but tell me what's what do you see here? Like, what are these? Accurate time is showing in the digital clock, but in the analog clock, we mm. have to recognize what's the time. Yeah, excellent. Well, really, what I want to look at is just these two words: is digital and analog. So, digital really is anything that needs electricity. So. A phone is digital, TV, computer, this clock is digital, it needs a battery, analog, uh, I mean, they still have batteries, but the actual face of it is just a mechanism that goes around. So we have the difference between digital and analog. Hello, Ashwini, welcome to the class. And yeah, so what do you use? Who, who uses digital? Do who most because I use digital like mostly, and does anyone use analog? So Roof uses digital. Does you use analog? Roof, what do you use more, digital or analog, or what do you prefer? Uh, it depends where I am. I'm here in my I call it Zoom room. <laughs> I'm here in my Zoom room, yeah. and there is an analog watch or clock. It's not a watch. It's okay. an analog. Hello. Yeah. So do you, do you like, for me, I find I read digital much faster than analog because all my life it's just been digital, digital, digital. So it's like analog. Sometimes I have to take a moment just to 
see what the time is. Whereas digital, it's like instant, you know? Is that the same for you or is it like analog? No, I'm, an, I'm an, um, an old generation and for me it's analog fine. Uh, oh, so I'm, I'm fine with digital as well. I'm, I'm in, in both worlds. In both, oh, that's both great, worlds. yeah. That's great. So I mean, talking today. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome. <laughs> Because I, I like analog clocks. So I think they look better. And they, especially when you go to like, even in Europe, you see like, and uh, of course, all over the world. But when I was in Europe, I noticed a lot of the big churches or whatever would have like a clock in it, like a bell tower, and it would have a clock. And they just look very beautiful. But digital is just very convenient and modern, isn't it? So yeah, okay. Um, right, so we've got the difference there. We can jump in. Asking for the time... Let's go down. Sana, how how do you ask for the time in English? Like, what would you normally ask? Can you tell me what's the time? Yeah. Like yeah. Can you tell me what's the time? It's very polite. What's the time? Blata, do you have anything you say? Maybe the same thing or something different? I say, please, can you tell me what time is it? Yeah, good job. I like that. You're saying please is very polite. Please, can you tell me what time is it? And Ashwini, how about you? What's the time now? Yeah, what's the time now? Good. So, excellent. All correct, all completely understandable ways to say it in English. Here are just a few options, like what time is it? Everyone, that's like the most common, I would say. Or you could say, do you have the time? Maybe if you are outside on the street, you're traveling and there are people, English is so useful to speak to them. You can say, excuse me, do you have the time? It's quite polite. I would say it's more polite than just saying, what time is it? Excuse me, what time is it? That's fine. But excuse me, do you have the time? Just sounds a little more polite. Here, over here, I'm not sure if you, okay, I've, we're up here now, that's good. What's the time again? Same as what time is it really? Could you tell me the time? Again, this is kind of polite. And then you could say something like if you're if you're waiting for something like what when does the bus arrive? When does the movie start? So this is also another way we can ask for the time. So yeah, all of these good. Again, I will put these in a PDF. You can download it in the community and have all of this information. Just if you want to practice review, you're very welcome to. Now, we've got two main ways to tell the time. Just move this box down here. Okay, so we've got hour plus minutes, or we can do minutes plus past or to the hour. So we'll start with, we're going to just look at AM versus PM. Does anyone know the difference between AM and PM? Like what? What's the difference here? Anyone can just explain what they think the difference is. Okay, Ruth. Yeah, a.m. is um, eight o'clock a.m. means in in the morning. Yeah, good. It's eight o'clock in, in the morning. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah, that's right. And Ashwini, Ashwini, what's p.m. Uh Post morning. Yeah, very good. Post morning. And actually the AM and PM comes from Latin, which is like an old language that was the Romans spoke Latin. A lot of English is influenced by Latin. A lot of all the European languages, I suppose, are in some way influenced by Latin. So AM, AM stands for anti-meridian, which means before midday. So from midnight to midday, it's a.m. And then p.m. is post-meridian, which means after midday. So from midday to midnight, it's p.m. So, again, yeah, I'm sure this you guys know this, but this is just a bit of information about where it comes from, a.m., p.m. Of course, 12 o'clock to 11.59 a.m. So this is the morning, and we just call that early morning and then late morning. And then we have p.m., which is 12 to 11.59, which is afternoon and evening. 
Okay, so that's wonderful. Now, if it's on the hour, what do we say? Blurter, what do you think? What do we say if it's on the hour? Like here, what is the time? I would say uh, it's eight o'clock. Exactly, it's eight o'clock. So if I ask you, what's the time? And you see the number here, just say the number o'clock. It's eight o'clock, 10 o'clock, 12 mm -hmm. o'clock. Good. Thank you, Blatter. And now, when we read analog, we have the hour, which is the shorthand, and we have the minute, which is the longhand. So, yeah, we can see hour plus minutes. So we would say it's 625. Okay, 625. Quite easy to read, 625. And same again on digital, hour plus minutes hour plus minutes 5 35 that's all you need to say we will look at other ways to say this later but if you can just say the hour and then the minute you've told the time now let's have a little go here then so let's have sana can you tell me what's the time okay what's the time sana 8 30 a.m very good. 8.30. Excellent. And Ruth, what's the time? 9 p.m. Yeah, 9 p.m. Good. Or we could say 9 o'clock. Both excellent. 9 o'clock. Okay. Yes. Thank you. And Ashwini, what's the time? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Excellent. Or 10 a.m., 10 p.m. And we don't actually have a.m. or p.m., so you just have to say 10 for that one. 10, 10 o'clock. And... Blurter, what's the time? 5.10. Excellent. It's 5.10. I have a question there. Yes, Blurter. It's wrong if we say 5 o'clock and 10 minutes. It's, yeah, I understand when you say this, but it's not what I would say. So, yeah, it, it's, okay. like, it's, it's not the proper way to say it. Although, if you do say it, people will understand. But... What I'm teaching today is the proper way. They so don't say five o'clock and 10 minutes. You just say five ten. Okay, it's five okay. ten. Yeah, and I will show you some other ways to say it later. But thank you for your question. I know that's quite, that can be quite confusing for people when learning English. And also, yes. of course, this one's six fifteen, and then we have twelve twelve. Right, thank you. Thank you for your question there, Blatter. You. Oh. You're very welcome. Now, pronunciation tip. Here, what's the time? Ruth, what do you think? What's the time here? Nine, one. Yeah, so you're right, but what we would say is 9.01, because here is an O, okay? It's the only time we say it's 9.01, 9.02, 9.03, 9.04, up to 9.09, .09, and then we would say it's 9.10, 9.11, 9.12. So 9.01, Understand it, but it's better to say it's 901. It's 902. Okay, just a pronunciation tip there. Just makes you sound more like a native speaker. And yeah, it's just useful to know. Now, let's, I was just going to do a uh, quick activity. I think, can you draw? I'm not sure if I can give you a, a pen. Maybe I'll just write it and ask each one of you one. So let's have. Okay, I need to change the color of the of the pen. Okay, so okay, Ruth, I'll start with you, then we'll go to Sana, then Blurter, then Ashwini. Just asking what's the time with hour and minutes. Okay, so we've got what's the time, Ruth? 804. Perfect. 804. Well done. Remember the O. And now, if I put this here, ooh, okay. And Sana, what's the time? Eight forty. Perfect. Eight forty. Excellent. And let's take these away. And Blutter, what's the time? It's eleven eleven. Perfect. It's 11.11. 11. And 
Let's do one more. Ashwini, please tell us what is the time. Let's do this one. One thirty-three. Perfect. You got it. Well done, girls. Doing so well. One thirty-three. Now, this I would say is the most common way to answer the time, but there are some other ways we can do it. Maybe the other way is more similar to your native language. So you might prefer to say it in the other way. So we'll go forward and we can look at that now. Oh, before we do, yeah. Bef okay, no, sorry, this is it now. Minutes plus past or to the hour. So we would say past, just get rid of that. We would say past four minutes, one to 30. And from minutes 31 to 59, we say two. So we would say 10 past one, 20 past one, 29 past one. But we wouldn't say 31 past one, no. We would say 29 to two, okay? So I'll give you some examples. Here is past. So we've got five past 12, 28 past six. Here, we would say 20 to 11 because there's 20 minutes left so 20 minutes to 11 20 to 11 or 5 to 10 so let's just practice Ruth what's the time 20 to 11 perfect Sana what's the time 28 past 6 excellent 28 past 6 Blata what's the time Mm. 55 to 9. Okay, not, it's not 55 to 9. How many minutes do we have left? Five minutes. To? Five to 9. Not 9. What's the next hour? 5 to? 10. Perfect. You got it. It's 5 to 10. Sorry, but I have some problems with this. No, do number. not. Sorry. This is what we're here for, to help you understand this. Yeah, maybe you, you're not used to this way, but in English you can say it like this, 5 to 10, because the next hour is 10 o'clock. So we would just say, what's the time? It's 5 to 10. So it means five more minutes until 10 o'clock. So just to I say understand. it short, 5 to 10. Okay, don't worry, Blurta. I'll put all this in a PDF you can use to review. And Ashwini, what's the time? Five past 12. Perfect. It's five past 12. Five minutes past the hour of 12. Excellent. So again here, this one, how would you say this, Sana? Sana, what would you say for this one? 15 past 8. Yes, so it is 15 past 8, but we could actually say quarter past for this one. It's quarter past 8. So the, there is another one here. Quarter just means like, uh, like this, one, four. So it's a quarter. It's in one hour, there are 60 minutes. A quarter of 60 is 15. So we will just say it's quarter past eight. Uh, how about this one, Ruth? What would you say? Uh, nine. I could say 9.30 or half yeah. past nine. Exactly, yeah, both 100% correct. You could say 9.30 or it's half nine, half past nine, exactly. Half past, it's now, it's now half. We're now half into the hour, so it's half past nine. And how about this one? Ashwini Blurter, would one of you like to try this one? What would you say for this? Uh, 15 to 3. Good. Yeah, it's 15 to 3. And a better way to say is quarter to 3. It's quarter okay. 2. Yeah, you got it. So we've got quarter past, half past, and quarter 2. Excellent. Well I done, everyone. Yeah, this is just a good way to say it when it's on any kind of 15 minutes, 15, 30, 45, the hour. So it's eight o'clock. It's quarter past eight. It's half past eight. It's quarter to nine. It's nine o'clock. And we just keep going like that. Wonderful. So let's do the same activity again. Now let's have Ruth. Can you ask 
Ashwini, I'm go you just ask Ashwini what the time is. You can say anything. What's the time? How long till the bus arrives? Anything you like. And I will just randomly. Okay, so Ruth, you can say stop. Say stop first. Good. Now, Ruth, you can ask Ashwini the time. Ashwini. Ashwini, what is the time, please? Uh, now the time is 7.08. Very good. Excellent. 7.08. Well done, girls. And yes, Sana. Sana, do you have a... I see you raising your hand. Yes, can you tell this one more time? I can't understand this part. This one or the one before? Let's... We can go back. This one. Yes, this one. Yeah. It's okay. So... In how many minutes in one hour? One hour, 60, 60 minutes. minutes. Good. And so a quarter, so a quarter of 60 minutes is 15 minutes. So if it's a quarter, we would say it's quarter past, quarter past, or it's quarter two because it's only 15 minutes. Half is 50%. It's, it's one half of 60 is, of course, 30. So we just say half past, okay? Never say half two. Doesn't sound good. Just half past. So quarter past, half past, and, sorry, quarter past, half past and quarter two. Does that help at all, Sana, or is there something more specific I can explain? No, I got it, it now. Got it, wonderful. And don't, yeah, if, if there's anything you need in more detail, just let me know. Again, this will all be in that PDF and we're recording so you can watch back, just maybe have a think. And then again, it, it's just quarter is a quarter of 60, which is one hour. Good. Thank you for your question, Sana. And I would like, Sana, can you ask Blurter the time? Let's let's just, Sana, you can say stop. Stop. Excellent. And Blurter, what's the time? Oh, Sana, you ask Blurter what the time is. Blurter, can you tell me the time, please? Uh, the time is four past uh, quart. quarter past four. Excellent. Well done, Blatter. Perfect. It's quarter past four. Well done, everyone. So good. So we've got here would be 7.30 or half past seven or half seven. 11.45 or quarter to 12. We would say 7.08. Sometimes we just round up to 7.10. Some, we don't always say the exact minute. Maybe we'll just round up or round down to the nearest five or 10. And so here's, of course, it's quarter past four. We would say 10 to six. And we've got almost half 10 or 28 past 10. Excellent. Well done there, everyone. And so, okay, I'll do the same activity again and give you a time. And you can do it with minutes past or to the hour so we'll start with ashwini you can you can go first this time ashwini what's the time well 35 yep if we start with the minutes though we would say 35 or 25 35. to uh... 35 to 12. It's 35 past. You could say that. I mean, it makes sense. But you could say there's 25 more minutes. So we would say 25 to 1. Okay? Okay, okay Ashwini, it's okay. And if it's a little complicated, I, of course, this is maybe not... You guys might not be used to this way to say the time, but it's just extra 
to improve if you uh if you want to say this in english then it's it's good to know blatter can you tell me can you tell me what's the time let me change this one for you blatter blatter what's the time it's quarter uh, past one Wow, very good, Blatter. Well, well, well done. Excellent. Yeah, it's quarter past one. Quarter past one. And Ruth, what would you say for this one? It's, let's move these. What's the time, Ruth? Fifth, uh, quarter to 11. Excellent. Quarter to 11. And let's have Sana, you can tell us one more. Let's have remove these ones now, and we can do. Let's have Sana. What's the time? Half past six. Excellent. Half past six. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. That's really the two main ways to say the time is we can have the hour, then the minutes. Or we can start with the minutes and past or to the next hour. So let's move on. So we're just going to do a recap. Let me bring us down here. There we go. So can does anyone want to read for me? Does anyone feel confident reading? Yeah, Ruth, if you'd like to read for us, you can just read this page. Asking for the time. What time is it? What is the time? Could you tell me the time, please? Very good. You want me to continue or someone else? Someone oh, yeah. yeah, you can just finish this bullet point and then we'll move. Someone else can do one. So ask, ask you... about events. What Time does the movie start? Excellent. When does the bus leave? Yeah, when does the bus leave? When will your friend be here? What time are we going to the restaurant? You can say all these things like that. Excellent, Ruth. Very well read. Uh, maybe let's have Blurter. Do you want to read this one? Yes. Telling the time. Hour plus minutes, uh, minutes plus post or two plus hours. Excellent. Post for minutes, one to 30. Uh, two for minutes, 31 to 59. Very good. Well done, Blatter. So that's the first one we did is hour plus minutes. So we know it's 10.20, it's 10.45. You can do this one or you can do it a little bit more complicated, but great to know, great to be able to say and understand minutes past or minutes to the hour. So we could say it's 20 past 10. It's 10 to 11. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Blatter. And let's have maybe, who wants to read this? Sana, Ashwini? Maybe Ashwini, we've not heard much from you Really been a little bit quiet. Maybe you can read this one. Special time expressions. Quarter past four, 15 minutes after the hour. Quarter to four, 15 minutes before the hour. Half past four, 30 minutes after the hour. O'clock for exact hours. Excellent. Well done, Ashwini. Perfect. Yep. Quarter past, if it's 15 minutes past the hour, after the hour. Quarter to, 15 minutes before the next hour. Or half past, if it's right in the middle, 30 minutes, it's now half past. And if it's on the hour, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, you can just say it's one, it's two. But o'clock just sounds a little bit better, I think. And Sana, can you read this last one here, please? Sure. Understanding AM and PM 
a.m. Midnight to noon. P.m. Noon to midnight. Perfect. Exactly. So a.m. Midnight. So it's 12 at night. It's midnight. It's right in the middle of the night. Midnight to noon, which is 12 p.m. It's the middle of the day. So midnight to noon, a.m. P.m. is noon to midnight. So there's always it's half. One is half the day. The other is the, the other half. Excellent. So we'll just do a quick little role play here. Um, let's we can just have let's just put, have a pretend conversation. I will start with this. I don't know if this I don't usually I use a different platform to do my classes, but this one's Zoom. I don't know if there's like a thing where maybe just raise your hand. Does anyone want to start? Anyone want to start? We can it's it's OK. We'll just have like a basic chat in English. OK, I see roof roof is microphones. Yeah. OK, we, we can just practice. Yeah, we'll just mm -hmm. have a, well. So I'll say it's hello, roof. How are you? Hi, Dave. I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you, Ruth. Ruth, do you have the time? Uh, yeah, let me have a look. It's 20 to 1. 20 to 1. Oh, do you know what time, what time does the bus arrive? It's 5 to 1. Five so you have, yeah, you have a little time left. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Ruth. You're welcome. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you, Ruth. That was great. And OK, I want two two of you now to try this. Let's have Ashwini and Sana. You can try this one and then Blurta and Ruth can go after. So Ashwini, Sana, can you turn on your microphone, please? And Sana, you can begin just by saying hello or greeting Ashwini in some way. OK. Hi, Ashwini. How are you doing? Hello, Sana. I'm fine. What about you? Can you tell me the time, please? Now the time is 4.09. Oh, that's great. So Excellent. I arrived. You've arrived? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Well done, girls. Yeah, 4.09. So just, hi, nice to see you. Do you have the time? What's the time? Okay, and maybe Ruth and Blurter, you can try, you can do one. Just a little quick conversation, little role play to ask and uh, ask and tell the time. Hi, Blurter. Hi, Ruth. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the bus. Are you waiting for the bus too? Yes. Do you know the time, please? The time now is uh, 20 to 1. Ah, cool. Thank you. Excellent. 20 to 1. I, I suppose, actually, you'll be in a similar time zone, I think, actually. You're both 20 to 1. It's 20 to 7 here. 20 to 7. It's but, a bit but, where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Kosovo. And you? Ah, I'm from Austria, so maybe that's why. <laughs> yeah, very close. That's awesome. Wonderful. Close, yeah. Actually, that that was great, girls. Well done. Really good role play there. And I just must ask, Sana, I know you're from India. Ashwini, are you from India too? No, sir. I'm from Sri Lanka. Sorry, I, I can't hear you clearly, Ashwini. I am from Sri Lanka. Oh, Sri Lanka. So you're in the same time zone or what time is it for you now in in Sri Lanka? Four eleven. Oh, is it it's four twenty to four? Yeah, maybe maybe it's it's nearly five o'clock. So that would be Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So I think maybe just one hour before Sana then, because I know Sana's... Wait. Oh, no, you'll be closer to me then, I think, China time. Yeah, and Sana would be... I know Sana's three hours behind because, yeah, the uh, the Calcutta time zone's three hours before the Shanghai one. Well, that's cool. That's great that we're all from around the world. But one one thing you need is that anywhere you go, being able to ask for the time 
or tell the time, really, really useful in any language, especially if you're going traveling somewhere. A lot of people can speak basic English. So if you can just understand these, if you can help someone with directions, then it's just a really good thing to be able to do. So that will wrap it up then. That's the lesson. Does anyone have any questions at all? Anything you'd like me to explain? Yes, Ruth? So, um, I heard people talking when they, they ask, what time do we meet? And they said three-ish, two-ish, six-ish. Oh. <laughs> is, yeah. this, is this plain, I, I suppose, uh, or is yeah, it's not formal. So you wouldn't say it to your boss. You would say it to someone like a friend or someone in your family. So if I say three-ish, it just means around three. It doesn't have to okay. be three o'clock sharp, which is like, you need to be there at three. It's like, you can arrive a little bit early, a little bit late, as long as it's around three. So yeah, three-ish, you can say half three-ish or 20 to two-ish. Ish just means like, you don't need to it's rush. Yeah, no casual. It's, yeah, it's more casual. Yeah, more casual. Casual way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, but it's not formal, so you wouldn't want to say it in a meeting or okay. like someone who you're trying to, you know, maybe in a job interview, something like that. Don't say ish. It's less formal, <laughs> too casual for that. But yeah, exactly. No. Good question, Ruth. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you. you. Oh, you're very welcome. Uh, any more questions? Letter? I just want to say I'm happy to be here again and thank you very much for explaining oh, these well, things because it's my first time understanding how to explain time. Oh, that's excellent, Blata. Well, it's great to have you back again. I, how's everything with your university? Has it? Have you finished now? Yes? You finished? Not yet. You I still... just have to decide. They just have to decide uh, the date where I have to graduate. Wow. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, that's we're all so proud of you, Blatter. That's excellent. I hope you have a wonderful day. Maybe you can tell us in the community when they have told you your date and we can all give you some support. Uh, that's wonderful. Okay. Man. But thank you, Blatter. I appreciate the kind words and I'm glad that you find value in this lesson. Again, Sana, that was your last month. You came top of the leaderboard. I thought this was a great idea because if you're an advanced English speaker or a beginner, this telling the time really is useful. It's just like everyone needs to know it and there's always something to learn. So that's great. Thank you guys. And I was not so active to the community, but now I will be more active. Yeah, you're always welcome there, Blato. It's great having you in there. I know you've been very busy as well with your university yeah. work. So no pressure, but we're always there if you need anything or just like any support or anything. So thank you, Blatter. Um, thank you. Thank you. And um, yeah, Sana Ashwini, any questions? It's crystal clear, Mr. David. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Thank you, Sana. Um, yeah, again, all of this will be in a PDF. So if you need to review or if you prefer just to watch this, I'll put it up in the community later and I'll post, I'll make a post about it when it's ready. And Ashwini, do you have any last words that you'd like to say before we go? No, thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome, Ashwini. It's nice to have you here. First time we've had this group together. Uh, that's great then, we can leave it there. It's been a pleasure. And again, we have a uh, debate club on Sunday. So if you can make that, that will be wonderful. Great chance to practice, just, you know, quite relaxed there's you know don't no pressure but it's a good chance to just talk about different things practice your conversation skills build confidence if that's what you want as well so thank you everyone it's been a pleasure i will send a link to the pdf and everything in maybe 30 minutes or so when it's ready and yeah i'll see you soon i can finish the class now we can say bye bye everyone take care sana bye bye ruth see you later blurter Bye-bye. 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 See you next time.